Pick up your gear and open your chest. Throw on your armor and head out on a quest. Hey, hey. It's a brand new day. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, woohoo! Welcome back, y'all. It's episode four of season fifteen of Rivals of Waterdeep. Thank you all so much for being back with us. We're so happy to have y'all, and we've got everyone around the table. So let's go around and do our introductions real quick. We'll throw it over to. Uh, we're gonna go counterclockwise like we've been doing, starting off with Latia. Right, counterclockwise. I know my directions. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's me, Latia, playing uh everybody's favorite Aarakocra monk, Dahani, whose pronouns along with mine are she, her. I, why do I fumble this every week? I you know, know it's sometimes going say. first is hard. And I, I don't know if I remind you that you'll be going first every week, but I tell you it a second before you have to. And that's like pressure. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> but going right along, we got Tanya. Hey, I'm Tanya Sefertier. I'm playing Slisa Storio, your... Paladin Ranger with a skosh of uh, barbarians so she can rage out. Uh, Sleesa's pronouns of mine are she, her. Awesome. And then up next, Brian. Hi, I'm Brian. I play Virgil, your Asimar sorcerer. And uh, Bar- uh, nope, I see. I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> Two entire was, goes there was, there was before me, and I was, was not ready. Wow. <laughs> so good. Um, yeah, Virgil's pronouns are he, him. My pronouns yeah. are he, they. Somebody else go and take this for me, please. Perfect. Let's start to you, honey, <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Okenyo. Uh, I'm DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, also, uh, Alphaba from Wicked. Singing uh, <laughs> the end of Defying Gravity. It's fine. Uh, I play today, not Alphaba, but Kent, our uh, phantom rogue tiefling. Our pronouns are both he, him. Perfect. But when we say Alphaba is the question. Oh, yeah. my God. Listen, your God to Bernie tells his ears. Your, <laughs> your mouth to Bernie tells your God. Oh, your God could tell him, too, I guess. Yeah, really yeah, words yeah. are going to be a problem today, which is fun. Yeah. What, what a weird energy. intro. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, Sharif. Yeah. yeah. I'm Sharif. Uh, I've been playing Shaka, Tiefling, Celestial Warlock. Uh, he, him. Shaka is also he, him. And if you forget, counterclockwise, guys, everybody knows the right hand rule. You point your thumb towards yourself. You curl your fingers, you go counterclockwise, guys. Whoa, the you know? right hand rule. Oh, I like yeah, that. yeah. But what if I do it with my left? Oh, shoot, that's clockwise. <laughs> I never, what? No, you never want to do the left hand rule. You want to do your right hand. Okay, okay. Well, Only for left hand is for figuring out, like, you know, which side, like, is it oh. the L for yeah, left? Absolutely. So that's the left yeah. hand, but this is for kind of, what? 
Yeah, it works. <laughs> the things we learned. Oh, and Take this is why we turn into yeah. rebels. I was I today years old. Yeah. Okay. This is why we I, do. Oh, yeah. And then we still got to do the broke. song about the days of the month. That was happening beforehand. <laughs> you know, 30 yeah, days, good. hat September. Just look it up. It's fine. Okay. Well, yeah, it's really good. There's also a knuckle trick. There's a YouTube video. You'll figure it out. Uh, I'm Masood. I'm the GM. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, but I also play Gazric Nomarad, whose pronouns are he, him. But because I'm the GM this season, I'll be doing all the NPCs, which use an assortment of pronouns um, that we'll interact with as we come across. And uh, with that, I think we should throw it to Sharif to do a little ad reads. Yeah, let's uh, talk about the people that help us uh, make our show more awesome. Uh, first of all, D&D Beyond, y'all. All our character sheets are all digitized. We can look up spells. We can figure out what our a AC is. Uh, we can manage encounters, roll dice, um, all that great stuff. Make sure to check them out at dndbeyond.com um uh for uh all all all, all your stuff and uh we'll have a giveaway so uh if you are listening live in the chat uh make sure to uh, look for the code word um that will be there and then um you must be present to win so after you enter in the chat make sure to stay through the show until we do the drawing um and you can get some of that awesome uh source material fr from dnd beyond so make sure to check that out um also if you want to roll some physical dice uh check out die hard dice um, at dieharddice.com and if you if you use the code rivals uh, you'll get 10% off um of your uh purchase as Masood struggles to get the get, get the uh, top off of his case but it's those do secure. look Ooh. very snazzy very 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 snazzy there Masood um and um in addition to dice if you want some other geek gear to adorn your working space some shirts mugs masks uh, all that good stuff. Uh, make sure to go to shop.stormcrow.com if you use the code Rivals, fifteen percent off, um, and possibly Masood's uh, mug. Possibly, uh, I don't seen, know if that. It okay. has seen some things. It has traveled. Uh, it has uh, over the years. It's it gained some additions and uh, new markings and lost some of its lettering, as you can see. But that's just its quality of uh history showing through and so if you're looking for something like that check out the back page how of the did, how did we get on antiques roadshow on this mug now <laughs> if, okay. if if you want to get closer to masood uh try to get that mug absolutely the the, the, the 50 off is really 15 percent closer to our dm so uh exactly. yeah make sure to check that out part of the formal addery that, that they gave us so no, of course don't worry yeah, about yeah, it guys yeah, yeah. um and uh if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the rivals crew check out the crew at blue microphones crew.bluemic.com slash rivals we use that link to make any purchases we get uh credit and yeah make sure to uh ch check out their mics cameras all that other good stuff that they sell lights all kind of great stuff there um and uh, make sure to check out Idol Champions by Codename Entertainment. Everybody's characters that you see here are in the games. You could build a rivals party, get all kind of stacking bonuses. Um, also pair the rivals with some familiars as well, like a Disco Pest and Fen as well. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it is a uh, it's a good time. Um, and yeah, th there's like also plenty, plenty of like uh, characters from other, other shows that, um, that like some of us are on and that like we are fans of like a uh, black dice and like, uh, uh, other shows as well. So make sure to check out, um, idol champions, which is literally on every console and, and like a PC. Is it on Mac? I think it's on Mac. I'm uh, not, not Mac. sure. Actually. And you know it's on wild? Mac as well. So. My storm crow mug can now play idol champions. Oh wow. wow! It's incredible. <laughs> it's been with a recent update. They're like explains the demand. Okay, you know? that's pretty sweet. That it's is really pretty cool. sweet. Um, that <laughs> that really should be part of Gosrick's uh, you know, thing. <laughs> uh, that'd be great. A smart um, mug. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we also have our latest sponsor, uh, Voice Mod. Um, and I believe we have a special guest to help us with our Voice Mod ad. Mm -hmm. No, we can't hear you. Yellow Sorcerer needs food badly, and you need to go to voicemod.net to check out this awesome voice modifier. You can use code RIVALS for 5% off and an extra speed boost on your... Well, no, that's not, that's not true. Don't go... That's not actually the case. Go to voicemod.net, use code RIVALS to get 5% off your order. Flawless victory. 
Perfect. Incredible. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, I got caught up and I forgot that I have to handle the transition out of that. Uh, thank you, Eugenio, for doing an incredible voice spot. And as usual, and Sharif for handling the rest of our ad reads. Uh, and now I got to throw it over to our whoosh captain, Latia. Take me. us away. It's me, everybody. Uh, thank you, Eugenio, for making my entire week uh, with a gauntlet Dark Legacy reference. Everybody, it's time. Uh, do the whoosh. Uh, previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. Yeah. Let go. Yeah. What happened previously, y'all? I don't know. Oh, look at them go. Sorry, the chat for a moment. Come on, Masood, we gotta Hell do yeah. this. Previously on so Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. Wow, Pat. look at wow. everybody go. <laughs> That's uh, the I same. Forgot. You got to warm up your mind and your chat reading eyes when you whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So anyway, last week. Uh -huh. uh... <laughs> last week was a lot of uh, discovery and trying to figure out puzzles because the, the crypt kept locking us in and out. We kept trying to figure out where to go. Um... Also, duo spectral self. I forgot which duo was with us. <laughs> the not, the yeah, the, duo. The, the they're non both real. Spectral <laughs> oh, no, we're not getting into that. Yeah, <laughs> I, for, I really forgot, but yeah, like we're, we're yeah. trying to figure out like kind of where, like, who all had been in this crypt and, and who could be behind it. And it was more puzzliness. It was cool because, yeah, like, we like Kent went out, yeah. And we thought we were going to, he thought he was going to be somewhere where he wasn't and he was just still in the city of the dead. And then we all went out and then came back to a wall. Mm -hmm. Classic, just classic. Mm -hmm. classic. And we're all like running, like doing the running around the building. Like, arr, arr, arr. Mm -hmm. it wasn't a cool Scooby-Doo corridor thing where we're in different outdoors. Yes. It's fine. Nope. <laughs> um, and we were like, okay, well, we got Duo to kind of give us more of a sense of where he was being not tugged exactly but he just has this strong sense of where yeah. he wants to be mm -hmm. yeah and it was late so we decided to kind of rally up oh we were basically like if we're gonna do this and we think we're being watched like let's do it because we're doing it for duo not because like basically we're trying to appear inconspicuous about it but it's mm -hmm. also us so i don't know if that's possible <laughs> but we did decide to go home because it was late and yeah. uh get a fresh start is there, uh, oh, go ahead. Is there anything else from the crypt that you all oh, remember happening? Or like just uh, when we were at the City of the Dead? Well, I mean, my... He... Go ahead. Uh, didn't Solis find some interesting information about pe per particular persons who could have pilfered this oh, link right. of... Uh, That's true. I don't have another P word. I was waiting for it. I was waiting really for good it. though. Yeah. Very I don't have another P word. I guess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't remember if that happened last or the previous, but yes. Me um, neither. But they I were also I... they were also. Crazy. It was at the very top of the last episode. Oh, okay. Oh, I appreciate okay. Yeah, the crypt stuff does sort of run together for it me was too. Really quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was... I found that I found a piece of a cloak that I'd given Faye. Yeah. yeah. Right. But I got a really good history check. And I am absolutely blanking on what I discovered. So just like real life, I have no memory of history. No, I think it was I think just it, that it was hers, right? It was just that it was hers, that she was clearly so that here. was episode two. See, I do remember that much. I oh, feel, well, that's why I'm feeling like we we got that information yeah. in two, and then three was was like the weird uh, one feel, in the door. I'll tell you what the takeaway for was me was. Three. Yeah, it might it might have may have been. What the takeaway for me yeah. was by the time we left the crypt was that. Uh, a, the Melshimbers actually don't seem to have been involved. They were just sort of their crypt was used. Um, right. And B, that it seems like some upsetting combination of Fay, Virgil's family, and uh, 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 Sama, the Beholder, uh, Xanathar. Yeah, uh, yes. it's some combination of <laughs> the three of them or Absolutely. those three groups that are yes, messing with us. Because we we discovered Xanathar info, but then Shaka was off meditating on a wall or something. I don't know. But we discovered oh. Xanathar stuff. And he just blue screened it because the, yeah, it, it was, was Xanathar. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So they got a blue screen? Oh, no, you, weren't, you weren't here. You weren't here. Yeah. You just blue I just had like I just had like a hexadecimal code, a <laughs> yeah. weird error code. Um, 
So we did take time to power cycle and reboot Shaka and take him home with us. Absolutely. And he was along the ride with you for the next morning that. as well. After you yeah. let him know, he was still booting up, but we you yeah. know we yeah. brought him along. We took um, care of him. We didn't leave him there. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we, uh, mm -hmm. we questioned we questioned um, mm -hmm. new duo. Yeah. Who yes. is doing yes. a really good job Nuo. as duo. Nuo. Yes, we. Yeah. Nuo. No. Nuo. Wow. Like, no. well, like, good. we can call him Trio, but, it's, you know, like, because it's a second. Well, like, there like was the third, a third one, there right? Was a third shoot. Yeah, yeah, I'm blowing my mind. <laughs> so, so, yeah, right so now, there basically. Is three duos, because there's his physical body as well. So, so yeah. DD, Doppel Duo, yeah. is doing a really good job as actual duo, while non corporeal duo was with us, but non corporeal's duo's corporeal body was somewhere else, and we were trying to be like, do you have any connection to it? Do you know where it is? Have you done the thing? And because of the art of the doppel, which we once again got a great explanation of, uh, no, just the fact that we were like, if something happened to Duo's actual body, chances are non-corporeal Duo would probably like vanish. Mm -hmm. um, right. And then, Correct. yeah, we were like, we were like, well, let's go towards the direction, which ended up to be. I feel like towards like the north, like it was actually I no like the yeah. the direction was like all the way that. out was yeah halt like we were like oh yes yeah wow. that was I'm sorry that was what else we found in the crypt that's what Masood was trying to get us to remember yeah, yeah, a little, little bit, bit. A little bit. That's okay fine. you know you can actually participate in these two Masood <laughs> hey 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 you know I want to give you ever... access and agency no. Like, no no every recap is a list <laughs> that we just jump around yeah but like, we like, usually hit most of it the list. I feel like you this do, is like. This is like in an MMO where there are little check marks by your quest yeah. options, and and the DM always has a list, and it's like, oh, you didn't know. Okay, no, I, it, I don't want to okay. be unfair if something comes at you and you're like, where was that? I was like, I was like, well, I was like, well why? guys, in the well. three of them. I was like, why? Are, why was I thinking it was far away and to the northwest? And uh, the fifty yeah. glass chalt, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey. More, uh, um, more nearby <laughs> in the northwest, however, was the troll gate, uh, which we'd heard also from our meeting with the Mar masked lords that stuff was going on up in the field ward and at the troll mm -hmm. gate so we went up there to investigate everybody was dead so that was fun mm -hmm. uh all the all the guard watch whoever they were were deceased <laughs> many bodies apparently just left sure. uh and no one was there and we were like well no one's here it's probably fine we should follow this path because <laughs> duo uh, astral duo was still holding the shirt and feeling the direction so we could <laughs> So we crossed through the gate and were immediately attacked by Walter flying our ship. Well, before mm -hmm. that, though, to attacked. make sure that we kind of knew what was going on, we also did talk to Derek. Oh, we talked to my Derek. Derek. Oh, my God. I Derek. love how far are we? <laughs> Derek yeah. I love how Ken just keeps running into people from his sale job. jobs. Yeah. Uh, but this one at um, least doesn't. I didn't stab. So no, he and I are still friends. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Onto a very successful job of yeah. selling hotcakes. The new hotcakes, yeah. You know, yeah. blazing at it, you know. Uh, um, but they gave us the info on the on whatever odd strange force was protecting mm -hmm. like the incoming, you know, they said like people were being taken out. So the the protective force decided we're just going to kind of shut the gate down, period. And yeah. we got a little hint that it was the FWG. Oh, yes. Yeah, the F, more F, double double the U and the G. Yeah, <laughs> FWG. And um and we were like, oh, okay. And they couldn't really tell us much except that they attacked from air. And Dahani had a lot of questions about these attacking from the air kind of things. And um, and then yeah, we then got to the thing that Henya said a second ago. Yeah. Where uh the our, the 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 mayfly nope damsel fly damsel Thank fly you. oh I was gonna say the mayflower I was like what <laughs> this is wow That's I mean that goes where way I went I and I aborted mission named the mayflower and it's wow. just the mayflower fly. it's like a it's like a bunch of water even... pilgrims no. <laughs> attacking people eventually <laughs> we're gonna get to the actual we didn't land on unreleased okay, cash unreleased cash landed on us yes <laughs> some point we're gonna actually play D&D. &D. Yeah, oh we'll man. Get there, we'll get there. Uh, D &D. The damselfly slash yeah. rival uh, the, and I should say the ship that we uh, made friends with and that brought us back from space uh, yeah mm -hmm. uh, was there and the hatch opened up and it was Voltaire yeah. and there was a conversation about the uh, sentience and personhood of rival for a little while right? and then 
uh, that's about where we ended. Yeah, I don't remember the exact moment oh. of ending. I'm sure there was some before. Yeah, before before the conversation, we basically kind of saw a ship out, like the way the duo was that's feeling and pointing. We saw a ship out and it was leaving. Mm -hmm. And at that point, we did stop to have the conversation with Walter where we demanded that he get off our ship. And then the ship said yours. And it was like, OK, fine. But yeah. there was a conversation. There was a bit of a, a maybe a makeup and mm -hmm. Rival's going to work with us. And apparently Walter and Rival are going to give us the orders. We know how long that's going to last. And yeah. I didn't agree to that. I yeah, no, no, I will no, never no, take orders said. from Walter. Ri Rival <laughs> suggested it. Walter. Yeah, this is this is Rival's no. <laughs> this is Rival's stuff. I love, I love it. it. I will also note the beauty of like Walter inappropriately interpreting Dahani's journey and like sort of weirdly appropriating <laughs> what he believes it is for himself. Like he is doing what he thinks is good. Yeah, it's just very wrong. It's his own murder verb. Come on, <laughs> oh, guys. No. Yeah, the we problem is again one. he's misinterpreting we one, and <laughs> oh my one God. is everyone's favorite, and that's it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Look, if I have to murder someone to reclaim this title, <laughs> <laughs> there can only be one. It will be Walter. Well it's, like it's, like it's like the dread pirate robber. Like, no, everyone's favorite murder bird. That's me. <laughs> Uh, well, Incredible. I think that's a great recap. I, I really do think you all covered everything. Recap. I just wanted to make sure we got that sea glass and that fade jacket, you know. Uh, but wow. I'd love to take us back into the episode. So as we humble, yeah. as we get back into it, uh, we swing a camera over a passing ocean, sort of the sun shimmering over it as we see movement occurring pretty across uh pretty fast as we look up a shadow over the water lifting up to see the damsel fly uh you all are heading in the direction of shoal you're maybe i don't know an hour or so out right now um and so in this time i'd love to hear from you all what is sort of going through folks head you see uh walter on the side sleeping over in the corner Just sort of catching okay. up. Then I'll tell you exactly what Kent is doing. Kent yeah. is watching Dahani preparing to murder Walter for his snores. <laughs> <laughs> no like, joke. Not gonna stop her, to be yeah. honest. No, no joke. Dahani has been staring daggers at yeah. Walter this <laughs> entire flight. Yeah. <laughs> you see. Wow. On uh, <laughs> on, on Walter's seat, he like shifts and the seat rolls over. And on the back, he put a little nameplate. He says. Number one aerial murder burp. Uh, oh no! I'm sorry. The honey has changed what she's doing. The yeah. honey is removing the nameplate. Just like so, <laughs> just like undoing. Uh, no, give me a self check. Honey. Give me a self check if Walter doesn't wake up while you're doing it. You have advantage. Her. Yeah. Her. Oh my god! I want to help the honey. <laughs> Wow. 21. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely and, and discreetly start taking off the nameplate and pocket it to yourself. Wow. I just love that. That's awesome. Well, Tara's <laughs> trying to die. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. So, Dahani is so conflicted because yeah. she's never murdered anyone, but she's still a murder bird. Like, right. he has murdered people. He does not deserve to be a murder bird. There's just <laughs> so this cross. He hasn't earned it. Hey, wow. hey, uh, about to be fair, right and I'll now. pause this to yeah, you. Right. Did Walter murder anyone or did Rival murder them? So, is Walter technically a murder free murder bird? Oh, no. Okay, you know what? I think... You know what? Dahani's not going to get into the technicalities of it. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. <laughs> you hear uh, popcorn? Yeah, yeah this is <laughs> popcorn. Rival just look uh, is in the space and says, "It was weird. He put a nameplate on me in the first place, so I'm fine with that not being here anymore." Sorry about that. No, 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 no. It's like I didn't ask for the tattoo. You know what I mean? I just like woke up one day. I didn't even wake up. It just happened. Wow, but, taking away your agency sounds like Walter doesn't need to be here, rival. You know, I mean, I don't know about that much. He did get me out of the woods. I was kind of there oh, for a oh, while. And that's where we end this conversation. Uh, <laughs> no. What's our ETA? About an hour out from Schilt. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> and as uh, they say that, uh, I'd love to, I want to hit up Shaka. Uh, yeah. He's been pretty quiet since the discovery of the uh, Xanathar's involvement and the engagement yeah. that's occurring. 
Um, what's been going through his head uh, at, through this time? Is there anything in particular that's like keeping top of mind? Yeah, I mean, I'm really, um, you know, uh, I would say half scared, mm-hmm. right? And half just like um, contemplative, I guess. Um, I think I think what Shaka has, from being around the rest of the group and um, sort of knows, feels comfortable that people can take care of, can take care of things without always his involvement. Mm-hmm. So while he still wants to be there in case he's needed, I think he's using this time to like just reflect. And honestly, um, he's also a little, um, I wouldn't say it feels like a failure, but feels a little embarrassed, I guess, um, uh, that he hasn't taken care of this issue, um, you know, like himself without involving the rest of the party. So I, I think all that is kind of swirling th- through his uh, head and, um, yeah, he's just kind of just been sitting there, just like doing his own thing, um, maybe reading a little bit, um, but, you know, c- kind of like keeping his eye on things and listening, but not really contributing. Sure. And I think as you're thinking about sort of your relationship and your responsibility to the Xanathar, we pull back to a moment around eight, seven months ago. You've been sort of going through the field ward, checking up on some of the folks that you worked with Nagru with um, to rebuild the parks around the building joke building. Um, and one of the guys who's supposed to come in that day didn't show up. What's their name? Um, uh, I don't know why that question is so hard for me. It's, it, um, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard, it's and tough. when you're not DMing, you're not supposed to have to do it. I, you know, he's your friend, and I wanted, I wanted to give you full creative license over it. Think about that power. I, I kind of like Eugenio here, but uh, oh, uh, oh, so his name is Eugenio. Okay, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, um, okay, um, how about Mershu? Mershu. Mershu. So Mershu, yeah. Mershu Wizrook has been um, a guy that's worked for you for a, uh, like worked a part of the uh, group for a little bit. You know him as one of the uh, former Icewind Dale, uh, sorry, no, Frostplane um, members who was a part of the Xanathar, who's been trying to rehab their existence um they got sent here afterwards heard about sort of the work that you've been doing um and you pull up to his place because he didn't show up at work um oh man uh, yeah jeez so like, i'm like that boss that pulls up at the plates i don't know if you're the boss or if you're like a sponsor you know what i mean like checking oh, in like yeah like hey, i'm like a true in officer. Yeah, officer maybe maybe a little okay. bit narc work has moved into parole work you know, oh, no. <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> Okay. I did not All intend right. that, but I do like how this is going. Uh but yeah. <laughs> but you say so you pull up. Okay. Um so yeah, I guess I uh knock on the door. You knock on the door. Well, it's a normal knock. It's not like a yeah, no, I'm no, not no, aggressively no, friendly. Knocking. Uh the door opens up, you see uh Mershu looking at you. It's kind of tired, got some sunken eyes. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, hey, it's I want to make sure everything was okay, man. I know that there's been a lot going on, but I know you also said how important this job is to you. So I just want to make sure that everything was all right. Hey, Shaka. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you can come on in. Um, no, no, no. I'm... Uh, I don't know, man. I just kind of... Just having a tough day. I had a okay. tough night last night. Um all right. Any, anything you want to talk about or um, you just kind of want some time to yourself? Having a few drinks at the Velvet Turtle. Um, and on my way out, I saw this guy getting mugged in the street. Oh, man. And I wanted to do something. I wanted to step in. And I couldn't because, uh, you know, I'm I'm, I'm just a guy now i don't have a patron like you um and i, I watched someone solve the issue someone came and, and and stepped in thankfully 
But uh, I, I know, I know it was bad being used. I know that. I know yeah, it was nefarious for other with other purposes, but. I don't know. I just trust I, me. I, it's I not worth it. it. Not worth it, man. I mean, not worth still, it. I mean, you, but, you, but you still have magic. Like, like yeah, but I I could have got it other ways. Like, there's plenty of people that I know that have magic where they weren't lied to, sure. and made and made to do things that they regret forever. Like when I close my eyes at night. Yeah. Like sometimes I think about some of those things that I did that I thought were just fine. Right. I yeah. thought it was just, you know, um, being a service. And then I found out it was really, you know, serving someone else's, uh, you know, agenda that I don't agree with. Like, tr trust me, even though having these powers and all that stuff, I know it might seem cool, but it came at a big sacrifice and it's something that I got to live with for the rest of my life. Hmm. Yeah. But I mean, like, I'm 175. I got maybe another 75 years in me, you know? I'm kind of at that part where I don't know if I can commit 100 years to learn a few cantrips. I don't want to... I, 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 know, I know I shouldn't regret my lot in life. I, I'm good. I, I lived to 175, you know? It's yeah. pretty nice. I don't think you look a day over 110, personally. Thank but... you, thank yeah. you. I wasn't fishing, but I appreciate that. That's That was very kind of you. All right. Uh, I don't know, man. It's, I just, uh, well, I mean, I'm not are you I would go back, but I just for a moment missed what it was like to feel that I, I get that, but there's other ways, man. Like if, trust me, if, I mean, we definitely need to do the job thing, but off the clock, like if you want to like, you know, um, somebody to train you, um, you know, it, it doesn't have to be me, but I mean, I'm pretty good. Um, you know, uh, I think it's a worthwhile thing to look into, you know, like, uh, pe people do a lot of things outside of work. Like, um, um, I don't know if you have, and he uh, looks around the, what, what does he see when he looks around the place? Does it look like there are other people there? Like, does he have a family? Do, no, like, this, this is a, like a, a studio a bachelor spot. Pad. Yeah, okay. yeah. Pretty tight. It was sparse. He's starting his life over in a new city in a way and like, you know, okay. doing the work that sort of comes by. Uh, oh. it, it's well kept. It's maintained. It's not in the state of like disrespect, but it is just okay. sort of pretty simple. Okay. Well, like I look around and like I say like, well, I mean, if you're willing to put in the time, um, I think you could definitely quicker than you think, maybe pick up some, some, uh, you know, some skills. Now, I don't necessarily think that you should be doing this for the reasons of trying to solve a crime, though, like someone getting mugged. Like, I don't think that's the right reason to do this. No, like, no, 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 it's no. A very no. personal, you, you know, like, 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 like being one with, you know, with the arcane side, the very yeah. personal thing. So you really have to believe in it and really want to do it for those reasons alone, not like try to become a, uh, you know, vigilante of some sort. No, mm -hmm. no, I, I, it's not that, but I just remember what it was like to have that at my fingertips, to know that that mm -hmm. was an option if I wanted to, and choose to engage as I wished, and no longer having the option. I, it's been fine for a while, I don't know, just last night got to me in a way, uh, just kind I of thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, um... How about you? I mean, like, I'm not, you know, you don't report to me or anything, but maybe, uh, you don't seem like you're in shape to work today, I guess. So just, you know, take the day to do what you gotta do, but you gotta, you have to communicate with them. Like, maybe you need to take off for a little bit more. Maybe you need to get off this project and like take some time to yourself or something, but you can't just not show up and not tell anybody. No. You no. know, because That's if I was fair. somebody else, I could have like fired you on the spot. You know what I mean? Sure. No. Um, you know, so whatever's going on. Um, and, and like, again, you don't have to tell them exactly what you just told me. Like, so that's very personal. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but you can tell them that you're going through some stuff, uh, and that, you know, that, uh, you need some time to yourself. 
Sure. Um, and then you can, if you like, you you can train. I I'll look into it. Uh, uh, in my free time, maybe today this afternoon, I'll sort of take a walk around, see who's looking out. Uh, but yeah, no, that's that's helpful. Yeah. Um. Uh, what's in this tea? Oh, it's just—I mean, it's peppermint tea. You know, just kind of simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because it's pretty Make like a wisdom me saving up. throw. No. <laughs> <laughs> I go, I got another, me about that. I, I, like, I, have, I have, I have like another blue screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, a moment. Uh, well, yeah. And I think that's a great moment to come back to you uh, in the damselfly at this, uh, looking at sort of the relationship that you've been having with those who have been touched by the Xanathar, the folks who've uh, dealt with it. Um, and maybe, I, I, what does it feel like to know that there is more victims of their work sort of being cultivated and accrued um, right. in whatever fashion, for whatever means that he has plans for? Sorry, can you ask the, that again? No, no, no. Uh, Just like as you're thinking about, hey, he's back at it. He's doing all. Yeah, that yeah. Again. What's uh, what does that feel like, uh, especially? I mean, about this moment, it feels like a like a circle mm. that I can't break out of, mm -hmm. and it also feels like something that I don't know if I really maybe share as deeply with the rest of the crew. I mean, everybody knows obviously my history, and they. Sure know that stuff but i don't think i've really gone into depth about how it's affecting me and not because i don't want to share it i think it's just because there's everybody has their own stuff and there's a lot of stuff going on i don't know if shaka feels like he wants to burden people with the like depth of it because i think it really is um causing him to and maybe he doesn't even fully realize it but withdraw a bit mm -hmm. uh from the group and so you're kind of sitting in this silent place thinking about that and the level of responsibility you have to this certain moment, grasping with why you're, maybe there's a little, like you're saying, personal shame around like other people helping you solve it. Um, and in that you're sort of keeping quiet. What's happening for the rest of the folks on the Damlify after we're hurtling towards uh, the island of Shulp? We talked about uh, Dahani, Stealing a nameplate, uh, removing something that shouldn't have been there in the first place. Uh, some folks eating popcorn and watching. Is there anything uh, happening in some uh, folks' mind as they're thinking about their arrival? Or uh, Salisa's once she's done with her popcorn. Now that there's no show, sure. um, she's like sitting and kind of staring out into space, but also kind of looking at this scrap of cloak and she's mm. just kind of focused on it and then she actually looks up and notices kent and calls him over uh yeah okay you help me shop for this cloak and i just give him the scrap it was a nice cloak what the hell did she do to it apparently ripped it running away from something in that there in the, did... in the crypt we just left. What does she have to do with any of this? I can't believe she's not half a world away by now. Well, she's clearly an opportunist, and if whoever's behind this offered her enough money and prestige... I gave her way more credit than sticking around this close to you after all that happened last year. She may... You know what? She may not be as smart as I gave her credit for. I mean, if she's still around dropping pieces of this cloak around. Yes. Clearly well rid of her. Yeah. Do, Do you, you think it's... Oh, the... go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Are... No, I was going to throw this overboard, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't open the spaceship while we're in space. <laughs> uh, um, Do you think we could trace the rest of it with this scrap? Uh, Kent looks at his spell list real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, no, what Kent, uh, Kent does think for a minute to see if he could do it himself. Cause he's yeah. had all kinds of weird silver words coming out of his mouth lately. Um, 
But what actually he says is, I mean, so I think, I think there are two possibilities. I think one is that whatever we're chasing now, Mm -hmm. she has somehow gotten involved in and we're going to run into her anyway. And I think the other Mm -hmm. possibility is we put this out an airlock slash overboard and forget about her. And I, I don't, I don't, you know me, Salis, and I don't mean any disrespect about your feelings towards her and what she did to all of us. And all of that is super reasonable. Mm-hmm. But I think what we've learned since that day in the courtyard is that there's no part of her that is worth it. She isn't trustworthy. She doesn't, she's a talented artificer, I guess, but she doesn't actually hold any real power herself because Laryl had to do everything to get her infiltrated with us. She's careless about very nice garments holds up the scrap of cloak and if she isn't involved in this i'd like to think thank all the gods above and below that she's maybe finally totally out of our your life True, but what if she is involved with this and we well, run across her? Then we're going to find her when we get to wherever we're going here that I'm absolutely certain Rival knows exactly how to get to. Uh, <laughs> I hope. Um, I do. Thank you. You're great. Thanks, Rival. <laughs> Thank you, Rival. <laughs> we have some privacy, Rival? Shit. No, yeah, that's the uh, other <laughs> issue. Of all this. It's hard to be silent when you're yeah. inside the beam. Yeah. Uh, but then again, um, you don't have... You don't have Never mind. We'll we'll talk about that. Later. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, that is definitely, uh, definitely a possibility. Um, but I think I think we're gonna run. If if that is the case, I think we're gonna run across her mm. when we get there. Now, what I will say is, if we get to our destination and sort of end up at a dead end, you know, a uh, 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 astral duo can't douse with his shirt anymore. Then mm. this is definitely probably the next step. It does. A little unfortunate that Gosric's not here because I think Gosric is the one that has the magic to track somebody with this. But like, I'm sure we can use it in some way to figure it out if we end up at a dead end. But I, I just don't. I wasn't around when you were. Oh no, Eugenio has forgotten her name now. Hey. Nope. The other one that killed your wife. Oh, oh Zaraj. Zaraj, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I wasn't around when you were hunting for Zaraj, but we've mm-hmm. talked about it. And I just, yeah. I, I don't, obviously, different scale of betrayal, but I don't want you falling down that rabbit hole again because you worked really hard to get out from that. And you and Tyr have had some, from my understanding, great, you know, Made good progress there, and and I don't, I don't want to see you get stuck in that loop again because I've liked seeing you out of it. Then, as my friend, can I ask you a favor? I mean, you could ask. Wow. <laughs> good. So he says on a notebook. Good yeah. to know. I cannot entirely trust Kent. <laughs> for sure, for sure, absolutely. I don't have to know um, yet. Yeah. Um. Should we run into her? Yeah. Can I trust you to keep me from doing something I can't take back? That means putting me to sleep, knocking me out. Mm-hmm. What happened? Um, yeah, if that's what you want, absolutely you can. It's probably what I won't realize in the moment. But... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just going to, let's see, what are my... I mean, you can just. Oh, great. It. Incredible. I'm going to. Uh, so I'm going to say, OK, but when all is said and done, I am going to need you to go back to. And as I say, remembering this, 
the words remembering this come out in that silver script that sometimes happen and they sort of swirl and I cast minor illusion and the illusion oh, is Salisa's voice saying exactly what she just said to me about keeping her from doing something she doesn't, <laughs> you know, she'll regret later. And you could oh. just write that down like anyone else. I was gonna, I didn't, I still, it's about 50-50 now, I mean, yeah. for the silver words to happen. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean... I they all heard me too. I'm sure everyone else. Sure, yeah. everyone no, no, else like is, damn, no now the popcorn's like, going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> While Terra's awake now, eating the popcorn. Uh, <laughs> sort of other side. But as the devil flies flying uh, in this space, uh, going through, there's a little splatter of rain across the windshield as y'all are heading a little further and further away, closer to the island of Shulk. Um, and as you all, or what? You'd estimate maybe five minutes out, you begin to see a lot of fog on the way. Uh, it seems to be a bit of it uh, and some storm clouds brewing above the fog, almost looking as if the clouds themselves, where does it stop? Or is it just a column surrounding uh, the actual island? Oh. Is hmm. this normal? Chol? Like, uh, Chol, Chol is an island? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big old island. But, big uh, island. Thank you. Okay. It's a big old island. Yeah. Uh, but you know, this is, it's not rainy season time. No, no, no it's, a, it's supposed to be, you know, that's the other time. It's uh, six months from now. Meanwhile, you see Dahani in this kind of hour has, has now a little kind of like golden bird mm -hmm. that she has tinkered out of the nameplate. Nice. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Where'd you get that? I just made it. Oh, okay. Such petty energy. I love it. <clears throat> uh, um, but yeah, no, this is rainy season is not for another couple of months, so I don't know yeah. what's up with this. Mm. And as you, yeah, they don't want to cut you off, Virgil. It looked like they were going to say something. Well, like basically confirming that it's not rainy season, and this seems very. Um, this seems a little out of scope. I th think Virgil would just try to reach out to feel like, is this natural or not? Mm. It's not it, like sure. you could say Arcana, but he actually doesn't actually have that because he just kind of feels his magic. But this, yeah. essentially, is this give me, You could do an happening? insight on this. Like uh, if you want to do that, yeah. if you want to give me some sort of like intuition based. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Please. Yeah. It's just good. Uh, it's a 19. It's hey. a 19. Very oh, good. Oh, and a 30 from Dahani on that as well. Uh, I'm going to try. No, I I absolutely. Helped. And I think with this 19 and a 30, uh, well, you both realize something. One, Dahani, you know instantly it's not monsoon season. It is not the time of the year where this is occurring. It is the dry time of the year. There should be very little cloud coverage at this time. Um. Virgil, you start feeling, looking for some trace elements, and it is a natural storm, but that doesn't mean it was brought about naturally. Mm. And so, specifically with that 30, you seem a little confused, Tani, as you look and see it covering a true radius uh a almost circle perfectly around what you would remember being the island of Shoal. Hmm. Impressive. Has anyone? This Shoal is huge. The Shult whole thing. Huge. The whole thing. But like I'm everything's concerned. still like visible, right? Like this isn't like a thick thing that so we can't it's rainy see. and foggy. Like it's, you can uh, from where you all, it's raining. I was just gonna ask. One, does the Damos fly keep moving and entering this sort of uh, cloud coverage? And two, uh, mm -hmm. yes, you can see, but the vision is obscured. You can like make out the outline of the island, but you can't really see anything deeper from it. Rival, hold our position outside of this rain. Oh, uh, okay. Do you want me to back up further out of the... Because you're currently in the rain right now i would say i would say yeah reverse us to what feels like clearer skies than this okay 
uh, and you see it sort of the th the thrumming happens. Its uh, wings sort of hover and oh, sort I of pulls that. back, just sort We're of going straight back, keeping a view. Mm. And you pull back just to the edge of the storm. And as I'll say, even with that, the 30th, Tahani, you see it. Even this cloud, this outer ring, there's like a perfect line where the sun is now hitting on the outside and you all are standing right at the edge of it. Mm. Someone is doing something and I don't like it. No, this isn't okay. All right. There's not, I mean, there's some shamans. There are some folks on show who are gifted in the arcane arts, but no one would do this to the entire, no one would be this disruptive to the entire ecosystem. That's kind of looking right, Virgil. I, yeah, why do you keep looking at me like that? <laughs> I, I was looking at Virgil. I wouldn't want to touch you. is no, still like, still yeah. like. <laughs> and can I just be petty just for, but on Dahani's behalf? I'm never, I'm bit? never going to say no, you can't be petty. Uh, oh, I, I just, unfortunate <laughs> lesson about me and myself. <laughs> About to learn one sure right now. Yeah. 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 I lean over to Walter and it's like, you will never be number one murder bird, just so you know. What? What Whoa. do you mean what? Do you not do are your feathers covering your ear holes? Do you not he doesn't, he doesn't even have feathers? I wasn't on number one murder yeah. bird. I was number one aerial murder bird. It was a subcategory. <laughs> <laughs> We're now subclassing murder me. bird. Oh my god. <laughs> And I just lean in. You will never take that title from Dahani. Let's be clear. Okay. Also, how is Ariel a subclass if they're birds? They could fly in it. Like, right. I, wait, what? Like that okay. doesn't even make I mean, sense. I guess the penguin subset of. Wow. Are there, peng are there penguin cocra out there? I don't know. Penguin cocra. I've always wanted to make one. Real talk. But... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like that idea of it. Also, like an air croaker who's incredibly fast in the water. Like that is their. I yeah. Need to go make some notes now. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry, I felt oh. like Salisa was going to say something to Virgil. No, 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 no. It. Yeah, I, know, I was okay, going to say something to Virgil. I was just like, okay, you know about the weather magic y things. This isn't normal, is it? Walter's currently crying in the corner. I just want you to that was the effect. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just resolving <laughs> that. He's in the Good. corner. Just the shuffling. <laughs> this, I mean, it is normal rain. It is not magical rain, but it was mm. caused to happen through magical means. Or, so, oh. Or mm -hmm. I'm just throwing spaghetti at the wall here and seeing what sticks. Don't oh, worry, spaghetti. rival. There's no actual spaghetti. Or, um, I mean, it can rain outside of rainy season. That is a thing that can happen. What gets me about this rain is that how perfectly circular it is. So mm -hmm. either someone has created this circular rain, or someone has put a barrier around Chult. Mm. Well, it's a. I mean, but but we went through. We we were going through it, right? So it's not like a uh, right impenetrable. It's barrier. Right. It's not right. impenetrable. And it's regular rain, or as 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 far as we could tell, the rain itself is uh, you know, not corrosive or uh, yeah, doing anything. No, no, that, it's that, very that, strange. that also happens during monsoon season. I was gonna say oh. the corrosive rain. <laughs> oh boy! Of but you said oh, it's like no. it's like very heavy downpour kind of thing. Once we get inside the circle, uh, it, as you go closer and closer, it gets a little. Yeah. I want to say denser but the drops are heavier hmm. if anything this is just i mean someone someone or something did this specific thing but it feels like they are trying to not hide because it's not like people suddenly forget where chult is but they are perhaps trying to discourage people from approaching or even people who live there from being out in it this is this is a tactic i'm just not sure why i uh very not not like it feels careless but it's not i throw walter a handkerchief and i oh. say i throw him out of the that's what i'm <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, hey, hey, for the record, the damsel's flight does have a catapult, and you, I looked up catapult, and <laughs> the object and whatever the object hits takes three d8 bludgeoning damage. So if you would like to I mean, catapult Walter I, at the store, I just figured we would just, I just figured we would just drop him. He can fly. He's fine. He can fly. Yeah. Um. But no, as I, I as I, the honey's like kind of like pacing this this cabin area, and she kind of like not so carelessly tosses him a handkerchief because he is her friend. He's yeah. just made some very poor decisions in the last month or so. Um, well, at the risk of being that bird, uh, we're not going to figure out what's going on if we don't go inside of it. Exactly. So we should probably do that. Also. You know what? I'm going to keep that one to myself and see if it's confirmed later. Oh. I just. Rival. Oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say, I just really want to <clears throat> see Virgil command this ship again. <laughs> Get a room. Uh, We're in a we, ship. Here we go. Like, like, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Rival, when we first encountered you, mm. we were. A little amazed by the abilities of craft there do do you have the ability to peer through this storm to find a safe spot for yourself to land mm. oh i can tell you now that i need to land on land no water landing mm -hmm. yeah, will be I, I'm I, I, well aware you're aware <laughs> of that and i appreciate these legs they do not work on the water um i can tell looking at the space a clearing that'll fit my size. I know my own spatial proportions well enough to sort of uh, find a, a space to land uh, in that capacity. Sand is not an issue. Even some loose gravel, not an issue. Um, don't pull me too close to an edge. I mean, because then I just have to start up if you push me over in midfall. Um, but yeah. Wow. Then, yeah. um, and I don't, know how i forgot the words for things how um complete your information on this plane is do you happen to have a map of shalt that you can show us no i have a map no. of the like planes i could show you how to get back to the spell jet like sort of traveling I, intergalactically no, definitely, yeah. not. No. definitely no we're not but doing this, no, not. my scale no, this no. scale okay. is too 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 small i i um, yeah i mm -hmm. in the virgil you see from how tall are you remind me six foot ish I yeah, yeah from your but... from your lower oh, no. peripheral. <laughs> no from your lower peripheral here comes to honey's little claw with a folded with a rolled up piece of paper oh wonderful um rival can 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 you uh, can you take this information on and perhaps show us where you're thinking of landing. Absolutely. Uh, and they pull up the map and... Oh, 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 I got to pull the map. Yeah, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, sort of looking at it, they are uh, gandering on the actual space. They point to a spot near this, like, truly, like, all of this will work um uh, there's not too much like yeah there would be some clearings in these forests on the north side um i mean it really depends on when and where you want to land and virgil just looks to to honey and and the indicated areas the indicated areas it seems uh -huh. you might be better suited to pick where we land uh yeah i mean okay so do we want to land like Closer to people or closer to my people? Because people and my people are two different areas and they're kind of far apart. Does uh, Astral Duo, can he douse from here? Like, do we have, mm. is that going to help us make a decision? Yeah, for sure. If you want to try and conflagle some sort of magic. I want to conflagle. Absolutely. As you all uh, do it, uh, give me. Uh, it's going to be an arcana roll or another skill check of some kind, if you can argue on its behalf, of using, somehow moving this three-dimensional dousing ability and limiting oh. its power to a two-dimensional object. I did not think about that. Oh. Um, 
If you could have direct, has an idea. If you have some way to think about how directing this nature, maybe? sure. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I can, I can explain to you how to do that. Yeah, we can do that. And okay. Oh, if, no, you just yeah. have to you can. Read see, that, I love this. If you internally, <laughs> if you wall, understand, I mean, wall, that's the beauty of magic, right? Like, if you can just get it. People would think the a calculator's magic, right? In the 1500s in some <laughs> capacity. Uh, and so if you can understand how to just like translate that, like uh, coordinately and sort of like reducing a plane from your understanding and sort of yeah. putting into this, I'll let you, oh, careful, my water bottle. Oh, that was uh, that's pretty good. Uh, uh, nice right reflexes there. So we're gonna put it down uh, yeah. here. Uh, yeah, that was a uh, saving throw for real. Thank you. Uh, I recently <laughs> spilled coffee on a laptop. Let's not have that happen again. In any no. <laughs> yeah. uh, Sharif, give me a um, nature okay. roll. Give, or give me a, okay. what, I, I got an 18 arcana. Oh, yeah. that definitely works. He, uh, you step forward thinking about um, what you wanna do and the relative um understanding of perspective and how that can shift based on um relational abilities to one's perspective and plane and knowing that you sort of position duo directly over the map you put a hand over the back uh, are you okay with me narrating this unless you yes. have okay. yeah, that's good. you put a hand over the back of a uh, duo's presence and put one on the right. map itself and as you concentrate you move your hand down and you hold the same scrap the duo has been holding and your finger moves closer and closer and it highlights Lake Luau right in the center of the island. It's close to Refuge Bay and underneath the peaks of flame in the Valley mm. of Embers. Wow. It's like a like a Dark Souls, uh... right? <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. I mean, it could have been the wreck of the Star Goddess, but I figured that it might okay. do late, like wow instead. All right. Huh? Yes. Yeah. So I well, I guess I don't have to share it because everybody sees me pointing at uh, yeah yeah at uh, Lake Luau. So I, I turn to um to both uh, Walt there and 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 Dahani and say, yeah. is, is there anything we need to be worried about? At this lake? Uh, what would that 20 survival check that I rolled tell me? Mm. <laughs> or the 21 nature I got. Incredible. Okay, I, love this. I think knowing the <laughs> island and the actual space, the lake itself is a, an uninhabited portion of the island. It's more of a resort sort of uh, vacation view. If you want to go to the peaks of flame, you want to see it above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tahani's giving the explanation for it. Uh, and the lake is just sort of more, it's not a huge, um, it's not on a coast. It's not on a, the lake after a long time will feed out, but there's not really any civilization that's built around it. Um, it is something just like, hey, it's nice to look at. Let's go check out the peaks of flame because that's cool. It's nice to have uh, volcanoes uh, to look at, but no one wants to live directly underneath it. Cool. Mm -hmm. cool. And so, with that, do you tell rival like this is where we're headed? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I make sure that everybody's okay with it, and then yeah, we, let's go. Perfect. As you all, rival says, "All right." Well, I actually, I actually, one, 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 one thing I do want to say, um, R R rival, as we head here, can you just alert us if you sense any difference in the rain in the rain, like if anything changes in a way that you would not expect like anything sure. even though you even though you've probably never been to this uh you know i understand i know how uh, water right. it changes its form and it can yeah. be in a liquid solid and gas these things of the universe might change based on what speed at which their molecules move but i understand the basic concept why is the rival. ship smarter than us? I'm mad about it. <laughs> the ship is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and so the ship is like, all right, let's head out in. And uh, sort of goes in and you, and you see Walter is like, yeah, after a while, I stopped trying to argue with it and was just like, it probably just knows more than me. I'll just trust it. Uh, it to be fair, probably led to a few more murders than should have happened. It has a <laughs> slight disregard for natural life. I'm learning uh, comparatively. Mm -hmm. we're, working, we're working on that. 
Yeah, I don't think that needs to be worked on, Rival says, as it pilots into the actual space. <laughs> Rival said, not today. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm, I'm good with <laughs> you, you fleshy bodied individuals. I'm happy. <laughs> Get rid of them. Uh, and so a uh, rival flies through um, and you notice it, it is like I said earlier, the rain, um, it isn't like it's kind of the same consistency as throughout the same level. But as you get closer to the island, um, beginning to hit the Miss Cliff Mountains uh, or actually, I guess you guys are coming from the southwest. So you're probably coming over uh, the wild coast as you all come into um, that area. The like you actually hit the wall of the cloud that was earlier. You push through and inside the rain has stopped. Snow has begun. The uh, flakes <laughs> that are landing on the actual damselfly, it's like, oh, this is an instant surprise. Um, it has slight wipers that it's working through that it's like trying to like move across. But it is as you're moving, like I said, the same level to which the rain was falling, the same density as rain, now just snowflakes. Every drop is a snowflake. And it is a truly like white, low visibility situation at this point. This is unnatural. This is unnatural. It doesn't um, like snow here, does it? There's snow here. And as you're Looking at you see this area, you see all the snow coming. While Terra's like, this is not right. Something is happening here. Uh, you watch as, well, it's not, anyone give me a perception check. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, it seems, this is <laughs> For the thing. weird weather of my hometown. Uh, it's, it's a 22. 22, nice, I'll nice. Eight, 18. Incredible. Also uh, 18 for Kent. 14 okay. for... 14. Tahani killed it, though. Like, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. 23 on that cool uh the dc that i had made in my head was 22 so virgil nice. and tahani as you all see on this side i was like the other all you're on the port side you don't really see yeah. it coming up but wow. on starboard you watch which is the right side which is the, uh, this is the right side uh you gotta remember like right port, hand rule port and left no, have no. the same Four letters. number of yeah. letters yeah, there and you then go. There starboard, you go. Is, starboard is right yeah uh and with that you see a huge icy rock flying at you, hurtling towards the damselfly. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do you want to aid the damselfly in its evasive maneuvers, or would you like to? You have a scream. split section to react. Just scream. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think Rival can evade. For, you know? Rival can evade. I yeah. was going to say, yeah. Um, Virgil, like, instinctively grabs the helm mm -hmm. and at the same time, like, gives gives the bearing of the of the rock oh sorry of the of the big icy rock yeah like gives the bearing allowed to rival but is ready himself to like mm -hmm. move if need be meanwhile dahani yeah. just says duck duck and so with this with this <laughs> alert rival catches it it's difficult for rival to know like i said it can tell its own spatial relations it has an understanding of where things are it is getting tricky in this place where all of its sensors are constantly hitting different flakes of snow. It is being sort of hit uh, by this option. Yeah. It's visibility is a little lower, but thankfully you call out the rock as it comes hurtling and you see it as this object moving through. The Tahani yells duck. It's gonna get advantage on its dex check. Fantastic. Uh, don't get hit, rival. Uh -huh. don't, don't, don't you total my ship, I swear. Okay. <laughs> It's a plus three. Oh, it's a nat 20 on that. Incredible. Whoa. As the rock, as it moves, you call out the bearing. Uh, rival doesn't even just shift slightly to the side. <laughs> as it's just like, whoop, whoop. and you see it go zooming past you all. I'm going to let this nat 20 ride because you're going to have a couple yeah. other checks as these mm. hurtling blocks. But you two up at the front are guiding rival as these things are coming and giving the bearing of 11 o'clock of coming in at three o'clock as they're sort of moving towards. And you realize it is focusing on the lake luau. It is pulling you that whatever is shooting these uh, large rocks at you, it's catapulting them towards you, is aiming itself from there. And as you all pull closer, the visibility is harder and harder to see. But you pull over the map and you get towards 
the peaks of flame What's crossing out you you see the the rock shooting past you as you go over the peaks um, of flame are not hot Peaks of flame. Well, that that, that feels like a very personal really distinction. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the Chult JC's just trying to make a buck? No, on this, is, this is like no, this is I climate think, change. Mm-hmm. I think um, those peaks are very attractive. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> I, you know, that's just, okay. Um, you see, uh, no sort of heat coming in, but uh, as you're passing through, um, give oh. me a yeah. I w- they were absolutely because okay. So <laughs> if you look at a map of. It, if you look at a map of Chult, mm-hmm. like Kersabal, where Dahani lives, mm-hmm. is not too far north from Lake Luo. Mm-hmm. And then the Peaks of Flame are not too far south from Lake Luo. Mm-hmm. Were they hot when I went home? Yeah. It's a it's an island. It, it, it does, they're active volcanoes. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. This is weird. Just, okay, Walter's cool. freaking out on the side. It's like, what? What is going on? And he's trying to look at it. Uh, he's going to make a nature check. The rest of y'all could also make nature checks to look at w- sort of what's occurring. Um, I'm going to make an instant yeah, check. Virgil's going Virgil's to put his hands on rivals, um, like basically just any of the surfaces. Yeah. And kind of focus since we're still in this like ice, kind of, sorry, snow-ish kind of yeah. area. And um, he's going to use his storm god ability to make a sphere around rival of Smart. the wind of the wind essentially blowing with us so there will be less snowflakes and ice on rival's hull while we move incredible you burst out this gust sort of creating this bubble pushing the actual solid dense things that were blocking at sensors it's got a little more freedom of movement and using your ability can tell when the uh you have a better understanding of what is pushing against that wind wall so as things come over it's almost becoming you're not even saying it you're just applying a little more pressure with your pinky if you need to move left a little more pressure with your thumb if you need to move right sort of like there's a way of like understanding uh that you're sort of actually communicating just by touch with the actual uh damselfly and rival has stopped saying anything about it is just letting you guide it as it moves through the space you look oh. down uh, as the other rolls. Let me look at this. Let's see what folks got. Ooh, a 20 on Kent's nature check. Uh, Kent, briefly, in one of your jobs over the past Sorry, year, I, was, I was watching Virgil pilot the ship. No, 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 no. <laughs> understandable, understandable. Uh, you look down and you look at these volcanoes. And part of your job this past year was thinking about, you know, what is a cool way of understanding uh, history and time? Oh, okay. Geology. Geology is kind oh, of interesting. Oh, no. You know, Did like I the... try a hand, my hand at geology? Oh, I bet that went very poorly. Uh, tell me how it went. Yeah, yeah tell me a little bit well, more. Well, I'm about... used to, I'm used to uh, archaeological and anthropological digs, right, where you have to be really, really careful to preserve the artifacts in the stone. Yeah. So I worked for like a month with this geologist as an apprentice, and it took me the entire month to like unearth a single rock. Mm-hmm. And, and so he was you... like, no, but now we're going to break that open. Why did you not just okay, well, get it out? So I can't pay you for this amount of hours for this. Right. Exactly. This all you... <laughs> exactly right. I hate I hate to do that. I, it was like, I'm I sorry. asked you to sort this spreadsheet. Why are you billing me for 40 hours? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so as you go through it, you're uh, working on it and you're in the space where uh, you're thinking about one of the few things that you learned. And it's a weird moment of it clicks because you were on the site of uh near actually uh an a mountain a volcano like this sure. um the heat isn't rising it's being pulled in something about it as you look at the tops of the volcano it's not like there's a dome over keeping the stuff from right it's open and it's almost as you watch it, the snow falling into it and not filling. Um. Hey, friends, I think. I think our enemy is layering inside a semi dormant volcano, which really wasn't on my bingo card, but maybe should have been. 
It's a bit on the nose. But, it is, yeah. and I like it. A little it. on I mean, the nose, yeah. Little, yeah, it's a little, yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah, so do you see, and I just sort of show them, like, I, you know, I have them track a, a mm. snowflake and show them that uh, and say, so I, uh, uh, we should either put down, well, in the volcano, if we really want to go, just go for it, uh, or somewhere sort of in that vicinity. Rival, can we, do you think you can set us down uh, far enough away from that catapult thing uh maybe like with some cover but nearish to the peaks and the lake you think you can find a, a landing vector yeah i i think so there might be something in the valley of embers um just to note though that catapult thing is moving um oh, and as he looks down as you can see it it's sort of something is is still hucking rocks at you as you're moving around, but as you were traveling and tracing that snowflake, you see something step and step closer and closer to the top of the mountain. I'm sorry, and it oh, from here? Oh, from from death. We, from, you, oh, you see it from here as it's oh my moving God. closer, and it's a thump. You hear it, you don't feel it from this distance, but you hear its movements heavy, methodical, stone upon stone landing as a huge incredible golem uh -huh. steps oh, forward okay. on the top its hand on the mountain itself as it opens up its other one its oh. arm changes into a circle as it begins Very to cool. siphon earth from the ground oh, oh that's hand back up at you all that's badass. Okay, that's that is so cool badass. that is so cool it's i'm very cool. so sorry about my next us. it's not which is but it's very cool which does make me a little bit regret my next question which is hey rival mm -hmm. how quickly can you familiarize us with your weapon systems oh easy i can tell you we have one catapult and one ballista that is <laughs> so little. Okay. I mean, uh, we, we decimated the troll gate with just that. Just those so you know. were <laughs> those people. were people and buildings. <laughs> yeah, the damsel fly is not really set for siege warfare. And yep. fire artillery. Yeah. I mean, and that is I not mean, your fault. Yeah. But uh I mean, at least a little pew pew. Yeah, right. really That's what I was hoping, Sean. It is, it is Just one fault. little pew pew. Yeah. For style and perhaps should have gone for substance. No, sure. I, I don't say that out loud. I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, because Virgil out. doesn't believe that. Yeah. I've got an out of character question really quick. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have an ability to amplify someone else's spell work? Or mm -hmm. something you can do? Mm -hmm. I don't have that. I do not. I just like, yeah, like my own, but not really. If you're, you know, if you're, yeah. if the spell is based on, if the spell is based on a thing, then I can enhance it. But that's. Mm -hmm. I was, I was thinking of trying to hail thorns through, through oh. the ship. <laughs> I like I've used that. the ship Wait. to hail of thorns. There, oh, there pass is. it on the ship. That's funny. Yeah. And have the ship well, then cast it on the. Golem. You decide where you decide where the point where the starting point is, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So the, the the starting oh, point could just be from outside of the. You know. Yeah. So yes. Here's here's a question, <laughs> Masood. Uh, so you said there was a ballista on here, right? Yeah. And if Celise were to use that ballista, would she be making a ranged attack roll? I would a hundred percent say that they would be making a ranged attack roll. Which is all that is required to oh, cast Hail of Thorns. Thorns. Hey. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> there you go. There so we go. You know what I'm doing? There you go. You load it. So it, it does take two to crew the ballista and three to crew the catapult. So it oh, is that's actually convenient. Perfect. Yeah, you have one extra person in terms of Walter who's running around, and Duo is just silent at this moment, sort of looking at the mm. actual ship, looking at this piece has been quieter and quieter as you've been approaching um this particular point oh little buddy oh mm -hmm. oh like doll yeah he'll be fine well, uh <laughs> okay if, if, if we're gonna fight this thing yeah we're in atmosphere the honey will oh yeah we'll, we'll yeah, say we, we'll we say hello have... to it personally sure <laughs> absolutely go for it um, um okay no go ahead i gotta no, think this through okay. No, I, I didn't know anything. Like, like, no, that's that's all I'm saying. Like, if if it is determined that what we are about to do right now is attack this golem, then Dahani will not be inside the damselfly when it happens. She's getting 
out oh. because we are in breathable air. I was yeah, about right, to right. ask. We, we just need the like, actual. Yeah, we were just flying over. We weren't going into like space. Yeah. You were right. like dodging hazardous things along the way. If I feels like we're entering combat, and for that, you just need to crew the ballista. Right? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm giving you the ability like to crew and set yourself up before the fight, okay. and as however you want to. Great. Two balli- two on the ballista and three, three on, the on the catapult is what we need. Okay, I can actually. I think I can. With Dahani going, I think yeah. I can actually still make that work. And also, I mean, someone could try to fight this thing on the ground like Dahani. There's uh, ways to engage with it in Shadow Colossus style. If you, if you, you want a Shadow a mountain. if you want a Shadow Colossus, it, I'm Let not going to deny quick time you event, that. You know? I'm do here love for that. It. It's just going to get stomped. Uh, <laughs> not if she's up, at, she's flying up by its head. Hey, oh, I mean, I'm not going to go do it. Listen. <laughs> okay, so I will um, yeah, I will help Solis with um wait i'm sorry ballista the, the ballista um, Heck yeah. i will i will i'll help her crew the ballista and provide spell support if also possible because yeah perfect that's, that's um, okay. how far away is the golem the golem from you are, i'm going to say when you guys enter the attack range of the ballista is when we'll start combat so once okay. you're uh okay. 150 feet away from it is when we'll officially begin that sort of role. Okay, whenever we are closer to it, I want to invoke my vow of enmity, which gives me advantage. Oh, practice. God, okay. Do it, absolutely. Do all the prep work that we need to do, and I'm going to have us roll initiative, because I feel like and, we're... Uh, Shaka, do you want to come help me with the bullet, with the catapult? As long as the DM allows me to Eldritch Blast. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that's While true. We that. can also, that's also fine if you want to just blast away. Because I have like a 300 foot range yeah, on it. I was going to say, that is. Mm, oh, and you perfect. get four bolts at this level? Like... Yes. So I'd like to be oh, okay. sniping away as we're going. So as if if the DM allows me to do that with one hand while I'm being. I'm going to say, what, what, is, the what is, the hand the ac- how, is it take an action to do an Eldritch Blast? Yes. That's then I would say it takes a bonus action to load and sort of work okay. the oh, uh, catapult. That's fine. Or I can okay, actually. I'm, I'm cool with that. If we want to use the catapult, that's fine. I can get a third person uh, with a spell or I can go with Dahani, actually, if she will help me. Walter is there. You have Walter as well. Oh, well, I mean. Dude. I know the sh- I know these weapons. I've been killing. City that's true. Guards. OK, so here's so here's what we'll do. Here's what I'll do. Um, I Kent is real torn because yeah. Kent is more of more like Dahani when it comes to combat in terms of like I, we got to be able to stab and punch. Sure. Uh, but that but but the catapult does seem uh, I look at my rapier and I'm like, I mean, the catapult feels like it will be more efficient. Uh, <laughs> and and so as so I'm going to actually do this one on purpose this time. And I'm going to yeah. script my face and start describing uh, the things that the third person needs to do on the catapult. I'm going to cast Unseen Servant nice. uh, and I will have that stick with Shaka and Walter right. to set up the catapult. Perfect. And okay. then I will either ghost form, I guess, although I'm pretty slow there. Does anyone I- have a reduce spell that can help me fly? I will as as like we're we're basically trying to figure out and it's very clear to Virgil that Kent means to leave the yes. ship, which yes. is like and you just see him like there's a sigh like and he leans over uh-huh. and uh whispers in Kent's ear, My my love, <gasps> and casts wind soul on you. So you now have a 30 foot flying speed oh. for an hour. Uh, yeah, Kent just levitates with his little feetsies, like incredible going because that was uh, a lot of fun for a lot of reasons. I like the idea of you flutter kicking to almost like like you're swimming in air. (laughs) It starts with like a leg pop when he whispers because like, uh, and then they just start fluttering as I float up. Heck yeah, (laughs) cool. And with that, is everyone set up? Because I'm gonna have you all roll initiative. We'll get into it. Okay, cool. Give me these rolls. Valve Enmity is ready. Heck yeah. Yay. I will save my Where'd range my until I Never. Go. Never, what? ever, no. ever. Why? Okay. Let's, oh, uh, let's start poorly. here because I think we've got uh, four out of five right now. And so we'll get the last one. Who got above a 20? Shaka? Me. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I got a 21. Great. You got a 21. So uh, Shaka. You got a 22. <laughs> Heck yeah. Who got 15 to 20? No, that's not me. I can't no, no, Virgil. 16. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, who got 10 to 15? 14. 
14. Oof. And Kent rolled a two, so got a 10. And it's just because he's used to flying at very slow speed. So it takes him a minute to no worries. get his balance in the air. <laughs> this golem ended up getting a five minus one. So it's a six. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. It's a six minus one, so it was five. I I, I had knew the final number was five. Sorry. <laughs> God, it was bad. Uh, and then we got uh, Kent ending up oh, the round. Perfect. Wasted all Shaka. the cool points on the portal air thing, which again, yeah. is very cool. Very cool. I mean, the <laughs> fact that you got a nat 20 moving the ship has really made this a lot uh, less yeah, fun for key. me. There was uh, truly, <laughs> was I had, like, you're like, really every, trying to smash us out the sky. I really was. I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It based on the yeah. numbers, like sort Which of. Do. And then it's like, Meh, we're good, we're good. It was a fantastic strat. That was amazing. Absolutely. Nice. Thank they you. Were, were, the dice said you. no. The dice said <laughs> no. And with that moment, you see a bunch of more like uh, rocks sort of shoot at you as you're getting closer. It's spreading out into uh, more of a uh, like a shotgun spread with its rocks uh, sort of leaning out, sort of getting trying to get a larger area of mass covering you, uh, but. Damsel, uh, angel, sorry, rival in the damsel fly is able to roll and move out of the way continuously. Got there in the end, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, sort of making your way through, and you enter the space within range. Shaka, what do you do? So, how are we doing the um, shooting the catapult or the bastilla? Is that one of our actions, or is that like its own? I'm going to say Walter mm. moves on your turn. And so, with that, you okay. when you load using your bonus action, we'll also do uh, the ballista shot. Okay, so like it's like an extra action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just say it's an extra okay. action. All right, cool. Then yeah, we're we're all just blasting, Heck blasting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so what do you I'm got? going anyway. to roll four times. Let's so see. many. Oh. See what hits here. Nat twenty and one. Oh. Uh, twenty eight. Oh. Uh, sixteen and uh, fifteen. Two out of those hits. Like that. Do, do, Incredible. Okay. And yeah. I'm gonna okay. let you all so for so so I'll 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 do the damage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh well no first, uh where I'm gonna give you the ability now with a 30. You see this golem. It is not one solid rock, it is a amalgamation of many, many rock pieces sort of pulling itself together almost um, as if a, a Katamari Damasi ball of stone <laughs> that is just like some either magnetized or something that is like keeping that it is, in the humanoid I design. I love this. I'm sorry. So cool. I cannot not think of it as like a ladder, a dolphin, a house, a, a, a ship. <laughs> kind of moving around through. <laughs> it's a little Rayman energy, but with other stones oh, in between. You know okay. what I mean? Like kind of like Siddling okay. in that sort of space. Um, and so with that, I want to give you the ability with your 30 to choose where or which body part you aim I, at. I would like to try to see how it's supporting itself on the mountain. So cool. either the hands or the let or the, I guess if it's an amalgamation, I'm assuming it has some sort of legs mm -hmm. or something. Like it's not just a mass. No, no, no. It's on got top of this humanoid thing. sort of style of legs, but they're like okay. more or less tapered down. They look more like triangles okay. than they do actual limbs. Okay, so I'm definitely aiming for, uh, I guess, with two beams, uh, that looks pretty big. Well, uh, both, both, both legs. 28 just hits. Then give me damage, and you're aiming for both of them at the legs. The 30 is yeah. going to do something special. Uh, okay. So roll damage for both. Okay. Can I get double damage on the crit or no? Is that, uh, I mean, dude, yeah. we're going we're gonna to apply regular rules. Uh, okay. You, uh, you guys are uh, right. you're yeah, 19. Yeah. You're going to do damage. Don't worry. I promise you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, 21 total points of damage. Cool. As you... This is how we keep math. Not the calculator. I saw yeah, the calculator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, this is a great, this is a great math episode. I didn't even get to explain the uh, three dimensions of two, though. That would have yeah, been yeah, yeah. I, we just we ran with it. I love it. I'll do it in the after show. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's <laughs> clamoring for it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am. Um, I actually want to know this. Aim your uh blast and you shoot. Hoo, hoo. They uh, come 
hurtling through your hand at it. it you see a couple of uh, it's still shooting stones at you in the shotgun spread and uh four of the blasts come through two of them get blocked by the shotgun spread as it's coming out sort of getting eaten up in the middle of the sky but two of them make their way through sizzling twisting on the actual wind as a pulled by your force and one yeah. of them hits it in the actual hip and the other one like the actual joint portion of the triangle where it connects to its torso the other one hits at what you would describe as its knee and you see that rock form begin to crumble and fall as it falls down and its aim gets shifted moving one arm uh to the ground Sweet. so it's now uh stopped shooting because it had to support itself with its other arm so you're getting a clearer view space easier flight pattern in so uh with that uh the rest of y'all you're 150 feet away do you trying to stay on the damselfly we're gonna say the damselflies moves uh on virgil's turn so the sort of guiding of like where uh the damselfly is in relationship to the actual golem um, do you do anything? Do you want to do a ballistic? Uh, shot oh, yes, I do. Absolutely. I do. Give me a roll. Uh, yeah, no. Just a straight up just, uh, your spell attack uh, as the your range attack modifier for it as okay. the uh, sort of guide. All right. I'll just uh, roll it straight up. Ooh. All right. Not great. A, a nine. Uh huh. Well, what's your spell attack modifier? Uh, I think it's charisma, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Well, if you go to spells, it'll be uh, so right at the top. Be... It'll be like a oh, uh, a yeah. four, a four. No, 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 ten. Okay. Sorry, for, Still for not the spell attack, right? Yeah, doesn't cut it. Yeah. It. Uh, I'm just gonna because you do range spells. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it sort of go through. Rule of cool. Uh, and uh, right. but unfortunately, a nineteen does not hit its armor's class as you throw a rock at it it lands at its feet and uh unfortunately does not hit up next okay. Celise. um since i cannot fly i'm staying in in the ship absolutely and i'm using uh the ballista to use hail of thorns heck yeah do you yes. load up the ballista you've cast the spell on the bolt as it's sitting in the actual mm -hmm uh ballista before it shoots out yes and since i have my valve enmity going if yeah. you let it because really it's only supposed to be 10 feet and i don't know when we'll get within 10 feet of this creature sure, sure, sure. um if you'll no no valve enmity oh, well. i'll, I'll I'm, let I'm, no, I'm, no, the, I'm not getting uh, 10 feet no yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> i mean i can't fly or do any of the cool sure. stuff y'all do so until we land i will not be within 10 feet of this creature um, well, so I mean, basically, yeah. I get, I get an advantage, but y using a spell does that count as an attack roll? Um, I'll say for this, well, you're using it. Uh, you will still fire this ballista. Attack. Yeah, it's still yeah. a ranged attack. Okay, then... that's why I let the spell attack thing for uh the catapult to go. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. then where is my spell? It's hiding for me. All right, so I'm gonna roll twice since you're letting me use advantage and mm -hmm. see what hits. Oh, that's a lot of dice. So that is 18. I think you, I think you just rolled damage. I did. Have you hit it yet? I don't know. It's like, how do I actually cast Hail of Thorns? It's not letting me cast it in D&D &D Beyond. Oh, oh it's, so I, just, mm -hmm. it's, it's just it's just like you, it activates when you actually like roll to hit the thing. So um, you cast it, and but you still have to roll to hit if it's a. Yeah, range there's attack. a to hit roll, roll that, and then. And I'll let you use. Uh, you have a longbow on you, right? I'll let I that do. modifier ride for. Well, you can just oh. use that for your actual. Uh... All right, then I'm just gonna roll. Okay. It's a. It's a. So that is fifteen. That my that is twenty seven. Twenty seven does hit. Okay. I feel less bad about making the AC what I did because. It, it, you guys are hitting it. That is good. Never, okay. never feel bad for that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, how much damage do you do? And describe to me. Oh, well, you already rolled damage, right? You got the right. The health. Heck yeah. yeah. Describe to me what it looks like where you're aiming with this hit. So I'm aiming at the part that we can see now. So I'm going for like the neck. Okay. Trying to like maybe chip away at, at, at its head. Yeah. And I'm aiming for that seam that we can see. And you just see like all these like sharp barbs going from the prow of the ship 
into the golem and mm-hmm. maybe like chip like you see a little shower of pebbles absolutely it's you aim at this actual uh the ballista and you aim for the gap uh and where the weak it seems like they're smaller pebbles supporting the top mm-hmm. stone at the head and as you aim you look you load you shoot the ballista comes flying it actually pierces the neck going from top uh cutting through all the way landing behind the stones shoot out the head rolls off the thorns begin to fall down it's still moving i don't know why it had a head piece because that's not where its control was yeah i did but, wonder <laughs> yeah it's still now just running around uh sort of looking like actually golem from pokemon more than anything <laughs> so, <laughs> that's great <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad uh, Golem doesn't have a for... cannon arm, though. Right. It had a head for style because that glowing eye—that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Um, but you, I, you've uh, removed I, a huge chunk of it and dismissed it. Absolutely. Um, and since I use a spell, I think that's all I can do this round. So uh, yeah, uh, if you um, want, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm hanging out. Unless you want me to do another just straight shot from the ballista. Well, how many attacks do you get? Uh, Normally, your... I get two. You get two. I'll say if you use your bonus action. With the aid of, uh, I think Virgil, you're helping as that well. That was the spell, though, wasn't it? To cast oh, Hail of Thorns. That was the spell. Yeah. You can do just a basic attack with the uh, ballista on it if say, you yeah, want to do that. All right. Mm-hmm. And just add my spell bonus. Uh, your range attack bonus, your spell bonus, whatever your spell okay, attack my is. My range attack bonus is a plus 13. Cause I yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let that one go. Uh, that is a dirty 20. A dirty 20? exactly hits it's ac mm. is 20 meets it beats it you make your attack how much damage you do uh what am i rolling for the ballista what would die uh let me look at the ballista here i believe it's 3d8 okay very cool mm-hmm. all right rolling it in D mm-hmm. beyond 13 damage heck yeah damage where do you nice. aim on this one um can we tell where it's being controlled or is that not obvious it might be why i'm asking you where you're aiming it da, might da, be da, something that might be the reason that I, i'm uh, okay so anywhere obviously that's part moving. of the left elbow i don't know give, uh, give me a perception <laughs> check <laughs> it's it's an an even if it's not right especially after that first shot like to aim where your next one is go for it the funny right. bone <laughs> the humorous absolutely mm-hmm. no. there's nothing funny yeah, about I, this. I swear on my life and my mother's urn it's another nat 20, oh, not nat 20 yeah. dirty 20. incredible where do you want oh, dirty 20 oh oh well yeah. this is good because i'm curious where it's ac triangulates so if does this hit Mizzou? Yeah. yes it, oh, okay. it also hits okay. dirty 20 it does hit okay and that was my perception so where yeah. you tell me where i mean absolutely you've looked at it they've here's the thing it's mass is centered in the middle as much as it's grounded and sort of like moving there is more rock and earth shifting around the center there might be something inside that's keeping it together but that is where it's being held so it's like a gyroscope inside almost almost like a gyroscope inside then i'm i'm destroying the gyroscope heck yes you're aiming at the center perfect uh and this is you hit with 13 you uh shoot you aim you Pull away some of the debris you're pulling aside. It's getting smaller, but you see more rocks sort of pulling towards the center now, pushing oh. their way in, protecting whatever's there. Um, with that, Aim I'm gonna take the it to, I, I, I'm gonna throw it to Virgil. Um, okay. You are that... in the damselfly. Your speed of movement is a uh, hundred, and like the keel ship size is a hundred feet itself. So I'm gonna say you can go one in this move if you want to get like directly above it you can get 1.5 times the ship length in this sort of time i think it can move that quickly so yeah. if you want to close the distance for some of your melee fighters coming up behind you go for it yeah i think i would i would direct rival to cl- to move in absolutely um to it's taken closely. zero points of damage so far it's feeling very I'm confident hope, like i'm hoping that this is maybe rebuilding that trust in yeah. us that we will go deal with the squishy and in this case, not so squishy things. And it's mm-hmm. fine. No, I, you're helping its guidance of movement and like, no, it trusts you. It's sort of, all right, closing in um, and sort of pushes mm-hmm. its way closer and closer. You still have your uh, action, any sort of thing that you want to do. Yeah. Virgil, like as after that order, like you kind of see Virgil's eyes, like kind of like 
glow a little bit and thinking about let's see you said we knocked off the head and it's sort of like a middle torso that sort of pulled itself back together a little bit yeah it's still yeah. it's like uh <laughs> it's arm that was down holding itself up from that initial uh elder spass sort of moves back up as it's sort of ambling and just being sort of uh four are uh, four limbs and a center mass and was it still snowing down where it was yeah it's it is yeah. still heavily snowing in this area then yeah like the sky above this creature begins to kind of flash and flare a little bit as the snow flakes sort of pull together to form rocks Ooh. But as they are hurtling towards this standing mass they yeah. they flash again and are actually just the, the rocks become lightning Mm -hmm. um virgil's gonna cast ice storm at this thing but he's changing the effect of it to uh to lightning heck yeah wow. very cool um just so you know all right this thing has a magic resistance it is advantage mm -hmm. on saving throws against spells and other such magical effects so hmm, in this space get, uh, what is the dc it has to be okay it has to be at 18. it has um, to be on what dexterity on uh, sorry dexterity 18. Oh, why do, why do you has... choose? It's it's worse. It's because worse. It's a guy, big rock look, bottom. Why, 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 why I know that golem could it. get Just down. For all I know, that golem it. had moves, and it was fine. But okay, no. wait, wait, wait. it's a minus one, but it has advantage on this. Okay, okay. <laughs> we're gonna roll both die. Oh, oh, it got an eighteen. It got an eighteen. Is that enough? Yeah, the, the, yes! that's, yeah. Exactly, that's exactly it's enough. It's oh, this um, is incredible. I, I, okay. I'm feeling really good right now. So Sorry, this guys. is interesting because it does it does both bludgeoning damage and magic damage. Okay, so the magic damage we will 100% uh, say gets halved. The bludgeoning damage we'll say rolls on through because we let the Eldritch Blast, which I'm assuming is like concussive force, sort of mm -hmm. ride in that similar energy. So we're okay. going to do that. Um. All right, hold on. Let me do this mm -hmm. math because it's... Four. All right. Um, this is the bludgeoning damage. Cool. And that is stop rolling. Stop it. Just land. Uh, that's 15. Nice. Um, 15 bludgeoning. And then the lightning damage will be um, 4d6 halved. Uh, six points cool. of lightning damage. Um, and since this is Ice Storm, it's. Um, it continue it basically turns the area into difficult terrain where mm -hmm. so it's basically around it mm -hmm. um i do not believe that this is a continuous thing so no it's just a it's just a shaka shaka boom and done. yeah yeah absolutely um so with that you uh, cast ice storm it moves around you see it's pelted with snow and ice and hurls of hail as it begins to lose some more of its mass uh you're aiming uh, at the top of it as it goes pulled down um that is there anything else you want to do on your turn oh let's see here i think that is um yeah the the essentially the the wind soul that that he extended to kent like you know again you all feel that same kind of rushing air within rival mm -hmm. um that we felt at candle keep and it kind of encompasses to everyone um and everyone is just now knows the knowledge that everybody on the ship should they need to can fly Mm -hmm. uh 30 30 mm -hmm. feet you know look I, look okay i gotta use it or lose it at this point i feel so special Absolutely. anymore you got the whisper like oh, that's true that's true i did <laughs> and with that, still uh, it's not taken off from the ship he's still like touching his ear and being like oh well i think that's a great moment sort of thing we see the ship sort of pull up closer as you go above it you cast ice storm and you uh share this uh the gift of flight with everyone else as well uh tahani it is your turn now it is my turn. I would like to ask a question, please. Yeah, you can ask a question. Can you describe the center mass of this golem to me again, please? Absolutely. There are a hulking amount of rocks swirling and centering around something on the inside. It's a nucleus that is staying in motion, almost mm -hmm. generating its own subtle gravitational field, moving the limbs around it as it needs. Okay. These are biggish rocks? They're large. They are large rocks surrounding something on the inside. You would say this creature is huge. This is a huge creature classification. So these rocks strictly in the center are like boulder sized, like at least person size, sort of pulling it in. Okay. I want to do something ridiculous. 
I'm never one to say no to that. Please tell me which one. I you. have an ungodly amount of flying speed. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I would like to um, dive into the center <laughs> of this nucleus mm-hmm. and try to pull whatever's like, I want to tackle whatever's in this nucleus out of it. Perfect. I will uh, say this. The attacking the nucleus has its own stats. So if you're going to attack that... It's it's not necessarily attacking the nucleus I want to do. I want to watch this nucleus encircling what... I know there's something in there. I know there's something. I don't care about the nucleus. If I can get whatever's in there out of there, it might stop. Perfect. I think that's a brilliant idea. To get through Mm -hmm. the nucleus, you can either give me an attack roll or an acrobatics check to sort of dodge and move through them. You will like have to, to you... beat a 23 yeah. to get right. what's inside out without you hitting a rock along the way. Of course. Of yeah. course. I'm totally willing to take that risk. Let's do um it they're equal. I will I will do an acrobatics check because that sounds cooler. Heck yeah. Okay. It is its turn next. Acrobat 21. 21. Fortunate. As you come hurtling at... Wait, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah I, have, hold on. I have Kensei abilities that I never get to use. Do it! Let's do it. We can make it. You can make it. Uh, I can re-roll this. So 36? 27. No. 27. Ooh. Incredible. As you go hurtling at this thing, you um, do you want to describe it or should I describe it? Um, I mean, so there's I'll I let you describe everything up until the nucleus, and then I will Perfect. take it from there. Perfect. Yeah. So there's that moment where you explain that the nucleus is a bunch of rocks that are circling around each other. Mm-hmm. And Dahani has a theory. Mm-hmm. Dahani has a theory, and it is snowing, and that never happens on Chulp, and something has to be causing that. And Dahani thinks she might know what it is. So um, she is like the whole time everybody else has been doing things. Mm-hmm. She's been looking. Mm-hmm. She's been watching the rocks Ooh. that have been encircling this middle thing. So it's like as soon as it's her it's turn, a heist she, movie. You're watching yeah. the perfect timing of like as they're exactly. going exactly, absolutely, exactly. And then she's gone. She and it's like the, it's yeah. a it's a straight shot. Like there's no dodging at all. She's been watching it long enough to do a straight shot in yeah. and out. The well, your wings are pulled completely behind you as you roll in you are moving so fast and the wind is hurling at you there's a moment where you just close your eyes because you know you're going to be right whatever you get in there you're going to grab and you're going to pull out and you're going to land on the other side tucking and rolling doing a safe move give me a dexterity saving throw just on your landing just to see how you do on the other side 28 28 in credible you come hurling in you close your eyes you hit something you grab it you're on the other side everyone else watches truly what just looks like a line cut through and land on the other tucking and rolling as you see this golem uh, begin to start to crumble and fall down as as inside a bright flash appears illuminating out as the rocks fall apart and a single glowing, um, almost what looks like to be a throne settled on the inside of a few stones bearing the Xanathar sigil at its center. Cent- it, it falls laying on top of the rest of the pile. Dahani, as you look up and you see uh, the rocks falling behind you, you feel the weight in your hands. You feel the substance of whatever you grabbed out of it. And it's large it's the same almost height as you it's it's weighty and you look down and you see gosrick and that is where we're going to end this episode where you all finally meet the socialist businessman druid construct gosrick nomrad he was a construct oh. and a construct exactly. <laughs> construct oh i knew it i knew it <laughs> Wow. Ah, and with that, All let's right. do our outros. We're going to go around the circle. We're going to start it off 
where going clockwise, so take your left hand, put it up at you, and make it go around. Sharif, kick us off. Hey, uh, you can find me at sharifjackson.com, S H A R E E F, jackson.com, Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Uh, got some physics uh, videos coming. Uh, a couple of them I've recorded already uh, for uh, the game Dead Space, uh, the game Atomic Heart, uh, and uh, the game Destiny as well, uh, showing some uh, equations and stuff. So I'm um, just deciding on a release schedule, but you'll see those all tagged up in like uh, in like everything when they release. Um, also, as I mentioned on episode one, I believe no episode two it was um, the uh, I'm kind of fancying up the the syllabus I use for my gaming course to make it shareable. Heck yeah. Um, and I've, I have to get some approvals uh, in terms of what I can share. Um, so once I get all all the, that locked down, um, I'll get that there and be sharing that as well. Um, aside from that, I'm good, Joe. Heck yeah. Moving right along, we've got Kent's played by Eugenio. Yeah, you've been nice there. Hi, day. everybody. Uh, <laughs> I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, you can find me here and on Twitter at DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, what is coming up for me Tuesday? Uh, I'll be back streaming on my channel. We're starting a new game. We might. I don't know. I really thought we were going to finish Citizen Sleeper last Thursday, and we like kind of did, but we didn't get the ending that I wanted, so we might play a little bit of that on Tuesday. Uh, but then we're going to start a new game. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be fun and great. Come hang out for that. Wednesday night is episode nine of the final season of my D&D podcast, The Last Refuge. Oh. Uh, the story in many ways kind of wrapped up last week. Uh, the final battle with the big bad happened, and that's all I want to say in case any of you are watching. Uh, so this week's episode is an epilogues episode where the characters get a chance to say well anyway those are who are still around get to say uh what happens in the world uh going forward uh and then episode 10 is a q a with the cast and me as the dm and my story consultant and then that's it for my five and a half year podcast so come hang out with us come help us send off the show uh in style that's wednesday night at well we go live at 7 eastern episode goes live at 7 30 um and then i'll be back here next sunday heck yeah up next we got brian Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm Brian. Uh, I am Urban Bohemian pretty much everywhere there is for me to be doing things except TikTok, which I've already told the joke. I'm mad about it. Whatever. Um, uh, coming up, um, you can catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Urban Bohemian. I will be playing probably Destiny this Tuesday and uh, showing off uh, Figment 2, which comes out on Thursday. Uh, they sent over a nice press kit, so we'll show that off on stream and make some posts about it. And um, then the next thing I have really going on is back here Sunday with these folks. But the following Saturday, uh, March 18th, I'm going to be in a Monster of the Week one shot over on um, twitch.tv slash only Tom will tell. Tom is T-H-O-M. He has come up with, I believe this is his first time um, running running anything. So it should be very interesting. Monster of the Week is a really fun, it's a really fun thing that I enjoy playing. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. And, um, and yeah, but otherwise you can always catch me. You can always catch me here on Sundays regularly until then it's not regularly, then it's every other regularly, but that's later. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Up next, Tanya. Um, nothing special going on this week. It's actually kind of a light week. I am going to be on, uh, probably later today with some destiny myself, cause I'm not very far into Lightfall, And, uh, I play destiny very slowly. I'm like, friends that are on now because they are already done with the campaign and i'm just like it's been since tuesday but okay it's been one week Which, yeah no, it really five days <laughs> since you looked at me yeah. um but uh it's actually gonna be a short week i have a little uh jaunt to la at the end of the week cool. so any streams will be monday through wednesday and then um it's not a stream but if you're looking for tech gadgets and gaming gadgets i was able to give some suggestions over at NBC News, so I will drop that link in the chat. Heck yeah! And then Latia. Yeah, you're muted in some capacity. Me, I yeah. was ready this time, except uh-huh. for the part that I was muted. Um, it's me, Latia. You can find me everywhere at Latia Jaquise. You can also catch me on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Central, other times, other time zones. Uh, for D&D Beyond Live at twitch.tv slash D&D Beyond, where we do things with the community and for the community and by the community, because uh, we are a community. Other than that, you'll find me here uh, always, except for when we aren't. 
here. We're on here. But yeah. usually we're here. Uh, and then that leaves me. Hey, I'm Masood. I play Gazuk Nomrad in your GM. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Maroud Boy. Um, I am really happy with how this fight went. It felt really cool. I am a little bummed that the Golem's turn was up next and I was going to have it cast. Uh, Hold on. The Golem of... was not up next. I want to be very clear that I rolled higher on it than initiative. My turn was next. I thought you rolled four. No, no, I rolled 10. You rolled 10. But oh, looks, no. look 10 oh, dance I, too. I, I, oh, okay, so it would no. Have, it would it's have fine. Been... Listen, it's fine. Tahani took care of it before I would have gotten I'm to go in so any sorry. case. Oh, so don't apologize. Oh, I love it. Kent moment. is still just bouncing on that deck, flying in circles, having a great time. <laughs> well... Well, if y'all weren't so damn good at, at, at killing this monster, he would have cast Wall of Thorns, any other vine, oh, with all the classic, you know, all the classic to let druid us know spells. That, that would have been a, that would have been a was in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, but it, to find out more about that, you're just gonna have to tune in next week and uh, learn about his story a little bit. Uh, next week will be an interesting episode, uh, and I'm not gonna say anything more about it until you come in. So you have to watch next week. Um, I'm online. I do stuff. Uh, there's gonna be um, a new. Uh, I actually can't talk about it, but keep watching Idol Champions, uh, and maybe some characters have new costumes coming out. I don't know. I don't know. Lauren, I didn't say anything. Well, Don't get mad. Characters uh, always have characters always have yeah. yeah. coming out. There's Absolutely. a new season starting soon. There's a new event that's coming soon. So sure. all of I that's think true. It's a perfectly normal. You should assumption. just keep yeah, playing, playing Idol playing. Champions. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's yeah. The long and short of it. There it is. Uh, get all of it. We've got a few minutes left before we go for <laughs> questions. Let's see what we can get through in the time that we have. Uh, I think there's uh, one for Shaka to start us out. Yeah, I, I can read it. I have them all here, so I can just read them off because none of them are for me. <laughs> yeah. <Not better. laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, question for Shaka. After your conversation with your reformed war warlock earlier, any thoughts of becoming a patron yourself? Ooh. Well, I mean, you can't just decide to become a patron. Uh, <laughs> You kind of have to... I don't think I'm quite at that level yet. I mean, we've definitely been working... Uh, to, uh, I don't know how I would refer to my level in the world. I've, I've been working hard to enhance our skills over uh, the last couple of uh, Gregorian years. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I don't know if I'm at that pay I don't know if I'm at that level. I don't think of myself that highly yet. Um, now, if somebody, if somebody asked me and I could do it, then, hey, you know, maybe I would, uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm there yet. I don't think I'm there yet. Um, so I'll have to respectfully decline. Uh, our second question is for Walt Hare. Oh, uh, who is the number one aerial murder verb? Well, I, uh, so here's the thing. Did I do a, a, a complete, uh, you know, peer reviewed data source <laughs> where I polled the audience and, and citizens, but no, I took the advertising approach. I've been learning from Gosrick a little bit, and I and I felt that the claim was strong enough to sit on uh, to then build the reputation from there. Follow up question: Did you vote your who voted you uh, number one murder bird, or did you just decide that you were? I think my last answer might answer that one. Uh, it was a marketing choice. I did confer with some of the folks at the Castle Lanners. Highlock thought I was being a bit bombastic taking that title. Uh, but I was like, hey, what do you know? You've never murdered anyone. <laughs> make it till you make it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Those were our only questions. Nice. Oh, and good. you know what? I think that actually leaves us perfect time. Uh, so we want to say thank you all for hanging out with us this episode. We really appreciate you all being with us as we ride out the rivals. Uh, and uh, we want you all to stay and hang out as we go uh, raid uh, Angry Black Lady. If you all uh, also are here and are watching, we're going to do, uh, we're going to put up a thank you to all the folks who sponsored us, all the folks who made us possible uh, through the Indiegogo, through all your support. Um, and so be sure to run and stick around and appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I think that's about everything. We'll see you next week. We're so excited that you hang out with us, and we can't wait to hang out with you again. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody.